Today I'm going to be doing my first book unboxing ever and I'm so excited. Well, and a book haul because some of these books I bought from the store. I'm going to do the unboxing at the end because I'm I'm just so excited and I don't know, I love saving the best for last. So, I'm just going to show you the books that I books that I got at the store first. So here we go. The Ninth Circle by J. Bonansinga. <laughs> Bonansinga. Banana. Bonansinga. I have no idea how to say his name. So anyway, The Ninth Circus, and I've been obsessed with American Horror Story Freak Show, so I had to get like a circus theme. I just love circus themed. I know I've said that in probably like two of my videos now, but um, this one I've heard is really creepy and like mysterious. Um, it's about a guy who runs away from a horrible home and he joins a circus. And it's basically like his story meeting all of these different um, circus people, I guess you could say. The next book I got is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. I'm not even gonna lie, this was mostly a cover buy because this is just gorgeous. I mean, like, this is absolutely beautiful. Reading into it, it actually sounds really good. Um, so far, I get that this is, like, a futuristic, um, very scientific, interesting kind of story. Um, I usually read, like, the first chapter or so just to kind of get a feel of the book before I buy it. And it sounded really good. It was very catchy for me right in the beginning, so that's a very good sign. Then I got The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey, because I have not gotten the sequel to The Fifth Wave yet. But now I have it, so I need to finish this one right away. I can't believe how much shorter this is. I mean, this is like half of the size as The Fifth Wave. But it still has that like velvety cover, and it's just... I don't know. I'm sure it'll be great. I've heard mixed reviews, but I think I'm going to love it, so whatever. The Retribution of Mara Dyer, the last book in the Mara Dyer trilogy, and this is by Michelle Hodkin. I am like 50 pages away from being finished with the second book, and oh my gosh, I am going to go straight into this book. I love this trilogy. The Iron Trial by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black, and okay, now, I have not read a Holly Black book yet, but her name is Holly, so, ha, <laughs> have to. And then Cassandra Clare, oh my gosh, one of my favorite authors ever. She is the reason I got into reading, so I knew that I had to pick this book up. And the last book that I bought in stores would be The Perfectionist by Sarah Shepard, and she's the author of Pretty Little Liars, so this is her new series that she has, and... Um, it's about, like, five girls in school who get, um, it looks like they're framed for somebody's murder. And I've heard that this one is a lot creepier than Pretty Little Liars, and I am totally a sucker for her books because they're such fast, fun reads, and they're just, I don't know what it is. It's not, like, the most spectacular writing you'll ever see in your life, but it's so entertaining that you just can't put it down. And now for the fun part. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh my god! Okay. You guys better enjoy this because I have had these packages up on my desk for like weeks now and I haven't been able to open them because I wanted to do this video. So here we go. Okay, so this first one is from the Book Depository. Ooh. All right, let's see. I've never... Ooh. Oh my god. Ah, I don't want to break it. I'm going to end up breaking it, you guys. Oh. That's way easier than I thought. I, I don't know. I was picturing... Oh, no. My dog. My dog is going to go crazy. She loves... My dog would rather have paper than treats. I'm serious. Like, she's crazy. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> oh, this is so pretty. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm, like, freaking out right now. <gasps> the Sleeper and the Spindle by Neil Gaiman. Gaiman and illustrated by Chris Riddle. Oh my gosh, this is a, oh, it's so, oh my god, it smells so good. Oh, I don't even want to open it. I really don't want to open it. This is a Snow White and Sleeping Beauty uh, retelling. Oh my gosh. I can't even, like, if you look at this, there's like shiny golden pictures in here and, oh wow, this is incredible. Thing. I, oh, hi, hi you. 
Oh, my doggy wants to be part of it. You want to look at the camera? All right, now here is the second box, and this is another one from the book depository. <sighs> so, my dog is apparently not happy. Oh, oh my gosh. Ugh, what the, the heck? Is this, like, taped? Oh, okay. I, <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've been waiting so long to open this. <gasps> oh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hang on. Ah, stop smelling me, Coco. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's soft. It is like literally... Look at this. I don't, I don't even want to open it. This is too perfect. Okay. Anyways, this is my true love gave to me and... Okay, I'm just going to list off all of the authors that are in this book. It is incredible. I guess it is Stephanie Perkins' book as a whole. Um, but the authors that all have a short story in this would be Holly Black, Allie Carter, Matt De La Pena, I, have no idea, I totally screwed that up, Gail Foreman, Jenny Han, David Levithan, Kelly Link, Mira McIntyre, <laughs> So sorry. Stephanie Perkins, Rainbow Rowell, Lainey Taylor, and Kirsten White. Wow. And this is just beautiful. It long colds are falling. Er, I don't know how to read. It says, long cold nights are falling in love. I still said it wrong. I'm stupid. Ah, okay. Long cold nights are for falling in love. Now I apparently learned how to read. But... Wow, so yeah, these, there's no dust jacket or anything, but it has that very, like, soft, velvety feel to it, and, I, oh my gosh, it even has a golden bookmark. And this next book I got from Barnes & Noble, the only one that I got from Barnes & Noble. This is a pulley, t a, a pulley tab. A, uh, <laughs> this is really difficult. Holy crap, you need, okay, probably because I'm, like, trying to show it while I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, now that I just busted a blood vessel somewhere in my brain, I will... Oh my gosh. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. Oh my gosh. I have been wanting this book for so long and I am so happy because Barnes and Noble has a huge sale on all of these um all of the Throne of Glass books. They're only like eleven dollars. So if you bought all of them in a row it would probably be free shipping because I think over a certain amount you get free shipping and they would be really cheap. So that is definitely what I'm going to do because I need these books in my life. Look at all these beautiful coupons I got guys. $100 wine voucher, and what else is there? Oh, oh yeah, Feeding America. Discover HelloFresh.com vegetables. And the last box that I got is the one that I got from Amazon, and there are four books in here, so I'm very excited. Here it is. It's very heavy. Very, very heavy. Okay. Oh, no. Already. <laughs> okay, I'm not showing this one. I know it. You can't. Oh no! Now what do I do? What do I do now? I I totally screwed up the entire tab. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, make sure you never screw up the pulley tab. Otherwise, it's really, really hard to open. The box! This is so bad. I don't even know. Oh, wait! I got it! I got the pulley tab. It's all good. I got it. Alright. Perfect. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, so this is Pentimento by Cameron Jace. And this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Cameron Jace, he does a lot of those. So if you like fairy tale retellings, I have not read anything by him. But I have noticed that he has a bunch on there. Okay, the second book in here. I'm not even going to look until I pull it out and show it. <gasps> that was so creepy! 
<laughs> Anyways, oh my gosh, this is even more gorgeous in person. <gasps> Ooh, oh my gosh, branded. <gasps> okay, I have been waiting so long to get this, and this is by Abby Kettner and Missy Kalikiki. <gasps> oh, book and face. I've been waiting forever to do the book and face. Is it working? Is it working? Does it look like book and face? Does it... The, oh, am I doing it wrong? But let me see. Is is it good? I don't know. Wow. This is like... I don't even know how to explain how amazing this book feels. It is seriously like soft. It is like the softest thing I have ever felt. It is like somebody made this out of silk and velvet and... Wow. Anyways, I have been told that this is literally oh. the best dystopian novel that, like, anyone has ever read. So oh. I am very excited. And ow! Ow! What the heck? Are you excited for this book too? Ow! Ah! What are you doing? Ow! What the heck? <laughs> ow! What the heck? <laughs> I don't know why my dog is beating me up. <laughs> okay. Silent Echo by Elisa Freilich. I have no idea if she's even German. I just kind of decided to make her last name sound very German. And it's about a girl who is born mute and her best friend is deaf, so it's like the perfect friendship ever that way. I know there's a lot about music. Um, she just loves music, hence the music note eyelashes. And the last book that I have in my book unboxing is Insanity by Cameron Jace, which is another fairy tale retelling and this one is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland and it's really interesting because it's about um, the main girl accidentally kills her entire class and with the first sentence of the synopsis being that I had to get it because that was really interesting so I'm really looking forward to it and also look at this cover I mean like she is like completely taking your soul right now now I guess we're both taking your soul oh my gosh this is the new book and face. Just pretend like the book is actually your entire face. What? So that is it for my book unboxing slash book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me below what your favorite book was that I got for this month so far. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!